Welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Chris. I will be your host through this first excursion into the world of Silent Hill. This is my first walkthrough that I'll be posting where I am actually helping you through my experience. And um, this is also one of my favorite horror survival games of all time. Survival horror games, I guess, really, is the way you would want to say it. But yeah, so I figured what better game to play than one that I already know very well. So we've got this great, this was a great opening when this game first came out. I remember the graphics were phenomenal. This was one of the first games I had on, on PlayStation. And right now, I'm playing on the PCSX uh, emulator for Mac. Um, so hopefully, I, I've noticed that some of the um, cinematics have been a little choppy when I've been using this emulator, but so far it seems pretty decent. Probably hear a little bit in the audio if you can even hear the audio, but um, yeah, so far gameplay has been good. So this is great. It's got a few things here going on. It, there's some of these scenes that really aren't even included in the in the story, but they give you a little bit of a flavor for what's going on. And then this scene here, where you've got Harry, our protagonist, his daughter uh, Cheryl, and then police officer friend. Uh, Sybil here uh, coming after him. That's that's more in real time. That's kind of your intro. This is pretty common, actually, I feel like, for some of the games that are going on at this time where they have a little bit of a trailer at the beginning where it shows some of the things that are going on in the world, um, but then also some things that are happening, you know, at the time that you're actually starting this game. So it gives you a really much more of a robust feel for how the game is going to feel. This is something that's going to happen in the future, so it's almost a little bit of foreshadowing as well. It's like, it does not look like it's in good shape. You always want to know what she's looking at. And what house is that, really? You don't really go to a house that looks like that. Oh my gosh. Jeez. harry has got to stop drinking before he goes driving. Anyhow, um, so we're going to start this. I, I'm gonna put it on easy just because I want to be able to play through it without any any hassles um, you know you guys go ahead feel free play it through normal on hard uh, I've definitely done it on all of them but again for this walkthrough we're gonna go we're gonna go easy with this Where's your daughter? Gotta keep better tabs on them kids, Harry. <laughs> oh, the loading screen. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Harry does speak in the majority of this game, but, you know, for some reason, just the beginning there, you're kind of in his head. Footsteps. Mm. It's just a little creepy. What's going on over there? is, sort of, I mean, no spoilers, sorry. <laughs> Where are you going? Hey, wait, stop! Back here, come on, look at this, even if he's running, can't quite catch up. Hmm, no, yes, my dog, Obi-Wan Kenobi, is here. He needs attention all the time. Hopefully he won't bother us too much while we're doing this. These alleyways, they, you know, it's interesting. They, if anybody's seen the Silent Hill movies, um, 
they'll know that, in, at least in the first one, that they change things a little bit. God, look how gross that is. Like, I remember, jeez, it's just brutal. It even squishes when you walk on it. I don't know what that was, but... Anyhow. The movie's actually... The first one does a really great job of recreating the scene. Uh, most of the camera angles, including this one, are direct pickups. That, and I was really excited when I first saw it, how good it was starting out. And, well, didn't exactly fulfill all of my hopes and dreams for Silent Hill, but hey, you know, what can you do? It's getting kind of crazy in here. Strange, it's getting darker. Yeah, and there's some interesting sirens going on too. <laughs> a match. He's gonna use a match to walk through here. Cause you know, matches don't burn out or anything. They don't burn your hands. No. Somebody's gonna need that wheelchair. this body on a gurney in the middle of an alleyway that's normal sure yeah okay chain link fences a little creepier than I would think it would be carved wire huh blood yeah and more pieces of flesh just everywhere what is this what's going on here don't want to stick around to find out. Oh god. Oh god. Little children with knives. Kind of look like three toed sloths. And you fight for it, you fight for it. You've got no weapons. There's no weapon. What are you what are you even thinking? Let's see if we can actually get out. Oh uh, no. Never mind. He's dead. Wait. Hello, what have we here? Oh, Sybil. So much more attractive in the game than you ever were in the movie. Sorry, Lori Folder. What was I dreaming? Just stick to Walking Dead. How do you feel? Oh, and this dialogue is priceless. Oh, the delivery is the run best. Over by a truck. I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. Just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. Hmm. I don't know what happened. Interesting that, you know... It's interesting to compare some of the... I'd like to find out um, myself. The new mythology that's been built up around Silent Hill from the, the newer games and from the movies and, you know, how the town became what it was. And, and yet he was up here to come on a vacation. Just turned seven last month. Short. Short black, black hair. hair. Yeah. Harry, your description My of Charlotte was just on Sorry. point. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. That's all I know. What's the next, what is Bram's like, you know? I want to go to Bram's and see what's going what's on there. What's your name? I'm not sure that you do that in, Harry. in a later game. I know you do kind of see other surrounding towns, but... Sybil Bennett. I guess once you're in the proverbial Silent Hill, you know, you're, town over. you're in that town. The phones are all dead. It doesn't matter and where you go. Too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think yeah, you're where going? Where are you going, Harry? My daughter. I've got to find her. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> no way. It's dangerous out there. 
It's dangerous to go case, alone. I need to find her now. Take this with Cheryl's you. Cheryl's my little girl. <laughs> I can't just leave her out there by herself. Such a good dad. Have you got a gun? Um, no. No. <laughs> Take this and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. Mm. And don't go blasting me by mistake. I'll make sure that never ever happens throughout this entire game, Sybil. I promise. Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Mm, sure. That's not going to happen. All right. Let's see what we got out here. Um, got a little pinball machine. Can't do anything with that. Little notepads. Some experience. Hopefully they will find my notes useful. Oh, and it's a save spot. What a surprise. I am going to save. We're going to be saving from time to time. Sure, it's going to break the immersion, but hey, well, you know, what can you do? It's a game, and we're playing through it. All right. Now that we've saved, what else we got? Uh, health drink. We will definitely need that. And our trusty flashlight. Fantastic. And a map of the town. Excellent. We'll definitely be referring to that. Oh, and shit's flying by the window, of course, because, you know, we want to get you ready for the real, the realness. What else we got? Got a health drink and uh, a knife. Knife uh, really isn't going to do much for you, except take up room in your inventory. I'm going to go ahead and equip my gun, because, you know, it's good to have. Let's just remember. Very good. Okay. It's been a while since I've played this, so... There's probably going to be a few instances where I forget what I'm doing. The radio. Is it broken? Can't hear anything. Alright, then. Let's get going. What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? What is going on with that radio? Oh god. Let's uh, get out of it. No? Okay. Come on. There we go. And kick it. This is not a dream. No. What's happening to this place? Better take this radio. Pocket radio. Yes, I will take it. Fantastic. For those of you who do not know, um, that is uh, the radio does make static when you encounter an enemy or when one is nearby. It's kind of a warning system. It's helpful. We need it. Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again. And there's that alleyway. Finney Street. God, the pixelization of this just... It gets really intense with these old games. It's always amazing to me how, how much I thought the graphics were like perfect. I and mean, for the day, they were amazing. You know? Need some more bullets here. But, you know, that's why we have improvements on these things. But this was like definitely top of the top of the game at the time. So am I going the right way or did I no, I'm turn I turned down the wrong way. Okay. So let's go ahead and cross the street. And it's great, this fog, some of you may know, but um, fog was not really intentional. It was really a limit to how far you could see in the graphics with the engine. Uh, that this game uses. These guys, we're just going to keep running. No need to fight him. Uh. Okay. Did I just get turned around? I did. I apologize. Um, the dog was going a little nuts. I didn't need to do that. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to keep running. If I can. 
Let's see if we can avoid this guy. You really want to maintain as much ammunition as possible, because you'll need it later. I mean, we're playing on easy, so there's going to be plenty of ammo. But... Wow, why... Okay. Uh, yeah, this, so this... I'm using a Steel Series um, controller, USB, on my Mac here. And uh, it seems to want to switch my map on. Alright, so we've got a dog. Lock onto this guy here. And I'm just going to put one in him. Get him to come after me, and... There we go. And just... Kick him out of There you go. Good, taken care of. And there's another one back there. Harry is not going to get shot. So you really got to make sure you're in range of these things. Can you please get him? There we go. dog. Yeah, we just had two dogs. And this is probably the dog they're talking about. Squish, squish. There. I hope I'm not talking too much during this game. I'm just trying to give you guys a feel for, you know, how it is for this and give you a little insight on a few things as we go along. This is the first time I've done this, so I'm going to ask that you leave some comments or, you know, subscribe a little bit more. I've got a few subscriptions for what we've got, but... Oh, so here's a good clue for where we're going. To school. Alright, so there's a school. Oh, emulator is slowing down pretty much here. Great. Midwich Elementary School. It's a good place to start as any. What else we got here? Sketchbook cover. This picture, it's me. Wow. For a little girl, Shell draws real weird pictures. You can kind of see that there's like eyes in the mouth there, but man. First picture that Cheryl drew in a sketchbook that I gave her on her fifth birthday. Oh, sentimental. Ah, and our good friend, the steel pipe. Yes, we will take it. Now, I like to use melee weapons as much as possible. Ooh, in the yellow over there. I'm going to hold out on using any kind of uh, health drink at the moment. But these are great because... Um, the melee weapons are great because obviously they don't use any ammo and you can use them as many times as you want so you really it's better to save those uh, those bullets until you know you're gonna need them so like I was saying this this is my first time doing a real walkthrough where I'm, I'm talking to you guys and keeping you abreast of my thought process and my experience with this game also kinda giving you some insight about what I what I do know about these games if this goes well and you guys like it, please comment, please subscribe, do what you like. Um, I'll probably do a few more of these regardless. Um, and uh, and we'll see how we do. Um, if we do particularly well, then I will... Uh, I'll try some different games. I'm probably Maybe I'll do some that I've never played before, so that'll be a totally different experience. But, yeah, why not start with a, with a favorite? So I'm just running down here. Um, I'm going to intersect with Matheson momentarily. Um, trying to get to the, to the elementary school. This should be bringing us up on our next clue as to what needs to be done. I'm going to try and play this as true to a, a first-time experience as possible, but obviously I, I know this game pretty well, so... Well, this is a little bit... This isn't the exact spot that I wanted to be in. But you can see this. How does this even happen? Even a... There's something nearby here. I'm going to stay in the middle of the road. Because I want to avoid any complication if I can. Alright, so we've marked this on our map now. We can't go that way. So let's try Midwich Street. Midwich Elementary School is on Midwich Street. Big surprise there. Um... 
but we're going to give it a shot. And this is really what you're meant to do when you're when you're playing this game for the first time. It's just in here we've got another. Oh, okay. Here we go. What is this? Yeah. I know. I've been running a lot, Harry. I'm sorry. Doghouse Levin Street. You in the doghouse now. Did you say anything? Can I read these? No. Okay. Uh, so, Levin Street. Alright, let's take a look. Levin Street is this one that we just went here. So, we gotta find a doghouse on Levin Street. Someone tells me there's gonna be dogs there. It could be that I've played this before, but. Who knows? Alright, now this is interesting. Let's see if I can still do this the way I used to. You doggy doggy. Come on. I got a nice steel pipe for you. Hey. Ah! Ah! Come on. You should be able to knock him out of the air. That's one down. It looks like there must be another one. Yep, there he is. This is a grainy feature to the way the graphics look in this game. I think it's meant to feel a little more, you know, foggy and subdued and kind of old school, but there you go. Try again. Oh, I got you that time. Yeah. While he's down. All right. Let's take a look at this lovely doghouse. The paint job is really quite nice. Oh, a house key was hidden inside the doghouse. Take it. Yep. Right. Can we open the door? We can. You use the house key. All right. What do we got? We've got first aid kit. Excellent. Doors are locked. I just have the habit of checking every door in this game. It'll, it'll come into play a little bit later on when we've got actual locations that we're searching that have their own maps. Because he'll be, uh, Harry will be crossing off doors that don't open. I'm not going to save just yet. And hand bullets. And get another health drink here. You don't get a lot of this stuff when you play a, a head harder. Refrigerator's empty. I don't know why. I always think there's something in the refrigerator, but there never is. There are three locks. Okay. Well, I must need three keys. Well, where? Here's a map. Let's see. Keys for Eclipse. Something is written on the map hanging on the wall. We have three locations marked here pretty clearly. An arrow. Uh, this whole alleyway is highlighted. And then a little circle down here. Copied it to the map. Excellent. So now I've got that. Harry, you really turn around very slowly. You can do a quick turnaround, but it's a complete 180. Oh, watch where you're going. All right. So I'm pretty sure we need to go this way, which is north. And all right, the first one's going to be that alleyway. But you know what? I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to go to that arrow. So let's just get to the end of the street. And then we're going to take a right. So it's interesting. Harry breeds really have oh, breathes really heavily when you stop after running for a long period of time. But he doesn't really slow down. In Silent Hill 2 and probably the later games, you do slow down a bit if you've been running for too long. And uh, you do need to wait for yourself to catch your breath so that you can continue on. And we're just going to continue to avoid these guys as much as we can. Okay. So, I don't know if you noticed that little hiccup there. Um, let me know if you did. Uh, I had to pause. QuickTime kind of quit out on me. Luckily, it saved what I was doing thus far. So, oh, hey, guy. You just hanging out? Can I, can I hit you? Can I hit you again? Oh, just die. God. Seriously. Really? Can you kick him, please? Oh. All right. Where am I? Um, I went the wrong way. Awesome. Okay. Um, so actually, we're just going to run down here. And we're going to go get this one. And then we'll go back. 
and get that last. Of course there's more of them. All right, okay. So we go over here to the side. You don't want to get me. Let's walk across this terribly rickety log. Scarecrow, awesome. Scarecrow, scarecrow. Oh my goodness. No, get away. Okay, and we're running again. Awesome, that's two down. And now we're back. They don't make it too difficult for you. In this game, at least, anyway. Um, maybe it's just because I've played it so many times, but... And this should be the alleyway that we need to get to. Hopefully we don't run into too much trouble down here. Shouldn't. It's pretty early in the game. Here we go. Alright. No. See, somebody had a really awful idea of how to play basketball with a dog's head. Yeah, that's just disturbing for the sake of being disturbing. Key of Woodman. Woodman. I'm not really sure. You know, I never really think about what some of the names that they talk about. They had Scarecrow. I think the other one was a lion, though. So to go Woodman, it's a little strange. Now, I'm just remembering there's actually a convenience store up here. And since I'm close by, I'm going to go ahead and go there. They don't give you any reason to go there, um, really, at any time. Um, but there is some good health drinks and things, I believe, just sort of hanging out. Oh, gosh. Excuse me, doggy. Oh, God. Uh, where did I go? Okay. It's usually not the way I approach that shopping location. Get out of the garbage. And as I recall, there's no enemies in here, so that's helpful to us. This place feels like it's definitely post-apocalyptic in a way. Um, of course, the post-apocalyptic nature of this place is a little bit different than some other games, you know, Fallout or anything else like that. Uh, let's see. Um, nothing here. Uh, soda or something. I don't know what that is. Can't use it though. Pretty good about making it obvious as to what you can take. This is mm, pretty similar. It's not the same, I, don't, I doubt, but I'm sure they use some of the same assets. But this reminds me of some other elements. I'm not going to save right now either. We'll save when we get back to that house on Levin Street. All right. So we've got three keys. This guy's still eating garbage. We got some extra health. I think we're ready to go through that door. This game gives you a good feeling of kind of sandbox. Uh, in terms of being able to run around and sort of do whatever you want. And there is definitely a set uh, amount of things, excuse me, that you need to do. Um, and it obviously guides you through the game, so it's, you know, you're on point. But, um, but it's nice to be able to just run around. And, did I go to, no, here it is. All right. Here we are back at the house on Levin Street, and let's go ahead and save. We'll save over that. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's get this done. Key of the Lion. Boom. Key of the Woodman. Boom. Key of Scarecrow. Boom. All right. It's unlocked. Awesome. Let's go. What? It's getting dark again. What's going on? Oh, yes. Now, this is where the not-so-great graphics really actually kick it up a little bit. They start throwing in some of this lighting, 
and it just makes everything creepy. You don't need to have... Okay, I just turned that off by accident. Oh, apparently, if I use the right stick on here... I'm used to using it to control the camera on newer games. But apparently, if I use that, it pushes me in certain directions. It, uh, it does something for me. I just haven't figured it out. That's lovely. It really, you know, they just make you feel at home. All right, where do we have to go to get to this school? We need to go to Matheson, take a right, and then a left on Midwich, and then take a right on into the elementary school. It should be easy enough. Uh, we're just going to run, because I don't want to fight anything. One of the things I have to say about... Oops, excuse me. Oh, pardon me. I'm so sorry. I can't play right now. Thank you. Um, one of the things I really liked about the first movie, um, towards the end when Rose, not Harry, but when Rose is um, going through the hospital she takes a moment to look at a map and she memorizes the direction she needs to go and I thought that's great you know that really kind of that picks up on on the actual gameplay uh, of Silent Hill where you really are kind of looking now you obviously you can look at your map whenever you want okay um to double check those things but you know if this was real life in any way which obviously it's not you'd have to remember that if you couldn't take the map with you so it just adds it just added a little bit of fan service there, which is nice. I like it when they do that. Especially in movies that are based on video games. Midwich Elementary School, here we go. We got two dogs. I'm just gonna hold on. Alright guys, well at the risk of making too long of a walkthrough video for the first time around, here's the map. I'm just going to pick up this map at least. We'll have it when we, when we pick up again next time. Uh, and there's a school map. Take it. Yes. Thank you. Um, at the risk of taking too long on, on the first video, I'm going to call this the end of today's episode. Um, this has been Silent Hill. I have been Chris. Um, subscribe, leave comments, let me know what you, what you think, uh, if I'm talking too much, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching.